Hey guys, welcome back. And we are sitting in 2008 Toyota Prius, and uh, we're gonna do a few things today. I actually need to do a couple things that I wanted to do. I need to change this turn signal stock thing because uh, the end right here fell off. So um, it's really hard to uh, turn. Whenever I turn this, it'll turn on, but if I go too far, it'll turn back off. So it's just not convenient to use. So I need to replace that. And the problem is, it's behind the steering wheel, so, and this steering wheel is really old too, so. But in any case, so I'm going to be doing these two things, actually. I'm actually going to change the steering wheel to another one I bought, because this one's really rough, and I really like the leather feel. So, I got another one here from eBay, for a decent deal here. And I got another stock here, which kind of looks like it's hard to, uh, to replace there's a lot going on here so I'm not sure how all this is gonna go but uh, yeah and this and the stock is behind the steering wheel so the steering wheel probably needs to come off according to what this looks like because I can't tell how to take this apart I tried to um, get these this cap off and these uh, screws off here and I could not figure out so I think it changes as this whole unit so and the other side clips on here apparently so we'll see but yeah so this steering wheel is exactly the same as this one. It's just this one's very worn out and old. So we're gonna start by taking off plastic pieces around here and uh, probably start by taking off the steering. So I do recommend disconnecting the battery because the uh, the airbags, computers and stuff, you don't want them to be on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so here back in the car on the passenger side, there's the battery and there's this contraption thing. You take off this red, cap and there's a main cable that runs right here so there's a little tab you push on it and it pulls right out and all the power is lost I'm gonna go ahead and plug this just in case and that should be all the positive uh, the direct line to the, all the power for the positive side so now we can work on the car without worrying about power being there all right guys so behind the or beside here the steering wheel there's caps Here's one here that popped off of here. And on the cruise control stick, here's one another one that popped off of there. So once you get them popped off, then you see this uh, torque screw right here? Then you take those out on both sides. They'll just unscrew and just hang in there like that. Uh, I think it's a T30 or something. Once you get those unscrewed, the, the airbag should be able to come off, which it does, as you can see here. And then, I guess we will work on trying to figure out what comes off next. But I'm guessing it's all this stuff here. Alright guys, so looking at all these connectors, I got those unplugged, but these right here, this the airbag connectors. So you want to make sure that you, I'm not sure if they're the same, but the black is on this side and the orange is on this side, so. Just raise up the little yellow tab there and it should come right up. Let's see if it does. Yep, there it goes. It's one and the other. And the airbag is free. Well, I guess they are color color labeled here, so you won't mix them up. So anyways, so the airbag's out. Time to, probably gonna break that loose next. All right guys, so the nut wasn't too hard to get off. It broke really easy. And then I just pulled on the wheel and it got, and it seemed like it got loose pretty easy too, so. See if I can pull it up here. There we go. And as you can see, those airbag wires they go through the middle hole here, and that's it. And the steering wheel's off. Simple as that, guys. Not complicated at all. Take off the steering wheel in the Prius. So, but we'll have to go a little deeper because we need to change this. So that might get a little complicated. Okay, it looks like there's a Phillips screw here and here. Get those off. Okay, once you get those Phillips screws out, it looks like it just pops right off. Let's see if this top comes off. Well, I guess we do need to put it down. Alright guys, I can't really get this off for some reason. But I did notice that this piece right here pops out. There's a little tab right here that goes in there. Push on it and this thing pops out. So maybe if we get this out first, I can then get that out. But in any case, we're trying to get, I guess, get this whole assembly. Because this assembly here is the same as over there, so we got to transfer everything to this one, I guess. 
All right, so once I pull this thing out, it just comes right off. There's a little tab right there. Push on it and pull, pulls it right out of here. This came out sideways through here. So now it looks like you need to get this thing out. And there's little tabs, three tabs here. Um, here's one right here that clicks in right there. And there's one here, three tabs. Once you get them loose, it looks like this comes off too. So, but I might need to unplug this, I don't know. Or maybe I can stretch these wires, there we go. So here we go, so that's out. So it's actually a lot more simpler than I thought. And then we'll just unplug this. And here we are, we're to the source of exactly the same thing. Of what I need to change, so. Looks like there's a big clamp behind it, so that's gonna be the hard part right here. All right guys, so sure enough, just use the needle nose pliers here and pressed on that clamp and this thing just popped out. It was a little bit tough because I think it has, yeah, right here, has a little tab here. So once you push the clamp, you kind of have to push on this top piece here so it kind of puts the tab so it comes out easier. So because it locks into this little hole right here. So it was a little bit tough, but you know, if you pull in it just a little bit, so it does require two hands. All right, guys, so everything is going back in reverse order. I plugged that in. This went in nice and snug. It popped in there, and that's it. Pretty simple. So let's put this ABS thingamajigger on. I guess it just clips. There we go. Yeah, it just clips on. Just make sure all three of them are clipped on and it's snuggy. So I guess these are the connectors through the wheel. All the connections go through this thing. So. Anyway, so now we can put this thing on. This thing was a little bit tight to get out right here. Oh wait, I guess not too tight. Well, actually, hold on. Before I put that in, that's actually a mistake. I need to put this in here. Because if I don't put that in there, I will not be able to put it in there. Alright, so that's in. And then this goes in there. Just like that. Together. It slides in there. I think it has like a little track or something. Make sure I get it in that track. There we go. It's fighting me a little bit, but... And that's it. And there we go. Everything is back to where it was. So, it just pops right in. There's that tab right there I was showing you guys earlier. They pushed to pull it out. So Simple enough. And this will go back on here like, just like that. But I can figure out how to put it back on. There we go. Put these screws back in here and we're back in business and then we'll work with the steering wheel next so but yeah so I got the wheel on here and now we just plug everything back in you know this goes in here and then the airbag goes well, let's see this thing goes in here And then the airbag will go back on there, and this goes on the airbag too. Or, yeah, this is the horn, I think. This one right here. So, yeah, so I've got to put that bolt back in, tighten it up. All right, guys, so the new wheel is in. I tighten the airbag back on, put it on. Those two screws on each side over there, as you can see. So, I'm not going to put these little covers on yet until I uh, check for the al alignment of the wheel, I guess, how straight it is. So, but yeah, everything is good. So, I guess I need to go plug in my battery and see if this new uh, stock here works. And make sure everything else works on the steering wheel and everything like that. So, Alright guys, so I'm going to power on the car. Which it might not power on because the battery was off. Yeah, so it's all confused and going through all the cycles. So, CD changer is making noises. Okay, so we got to power it off again foot on the brake, power it on again, should be back to normal. There it goes. But the airbag light's not coming off, strange. That's not good. Alright guys, so I took the the uh, bolts back out, out of this airbag to see if I could see something and silly me did not push these, I, I plugged it in, but it did not push these uh, little tabs in. So you got to actually push them in to connect, I guess. And that's why I was getting that light. Hopefully I didn't trigger any kind of code in the uh, <clears throat> the airbag sensing 
computer thingamajigger. So hopefully that's going to be okay, but don't make a mistake like I did. I did unplug the battery back out, so so it'll reset itself, hopefully. All right, guys, so let's try this again. Hopefully the airbag light will not come on here. And there goes the airbag light. And it's off. Excellent. So, well, that's good. So I'm glad that wasn't an issue there. Car should crank here in a few seconds. There it goes. So all is good, guys. So, anyways, so let's uh, let's check out the uh, this uh, thing, the new uh, stock works here. So I'm gonna turn on the headlights here. There we go. You can see that it works. High beam, low beam. And uh, let's see if the uh, power, yeah, return signals work. They do. So everything on this one works. So yeah, this was actually a pretty good deal. I got the steering wheel on eBay for 50 bucks, and it's leather, so it's a lot more pleasant to hold. I'm so used to the, uh, usually we have the top trim on all the Priuses that we have, so this Prius I bought pretty cheap, so... Anyway, so I wanted to get that steering wheel. There's the old one over there. So it's not too bad, guys. So hopefully this uh, video helps somebody if you're going to do anything in this area here. So it's not too bad. And as you can see, the airbag is, uh, you can take it off and on. Don't just, don't forget to put those tabs in. So, and I'm pretty sure it's for the other airbag over there too. Because when you take the dash off, you got to take that. It comes with the airbag, so. In any case, guys, well, thanks for watching this video, and hit the like button if you liked it, and subscribe for more videos like this, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.